It began as a single point of light moving silently across the dark. Astronomers thought it was just another comet, a harmless traveler from the deep. But then something impossible emerged from the data. This object known as Three-Eye Atlas wasn't alone. Behind it followed not one, not a hundred, but 10,000 smaller companions. Each one traced the same impossible path through space, like a swarm of glittering embers following a hidden signal. At first, they thought it was debris, fragments torn apart by gravity or heat. But when the James Webb Space Telescope focused on the formation, it revealed something that shook scientists to their core. The swarm wasn't chaotic. It was organized, perfectly synchronized, moving as if guided by purpose. Some called it the first interstellar convoy ever detected. Others whispered something darker, that it might not be natural at all. Whatever it is, the universe just sent us a message written in motion, and it's more terrifying than we could ever imagine. NASA's Atlas Survey Telescope detected a fast-moving object slicing through the night sky. At first, it was catalogued as a near-Earth asteroid, but the data didn't fit. Its orbit wasn't elliptical like everything bound to the sun. It was hyperbolic. That single number, an eccentricity greater than one, meant only one thing. It wasn't from here. It was an interstellar visitor, the third ever confirmed after Oumuamua and Borisov. But even that discovery was only the beginning. When the MMT Observatory in Arizona zoomed in, it captured something unprecedented. The comet wasn't alone. A halo of thousands of objects trailed behind it, forming a structure over 120,000 kilometers long. The fragments moved almost in unison, their relative velocity so low, less than one meter per second, that it defied every model of cometary breakup. A violent explosion should have scattered them. Instead, they drifted together, as if remembering where they came from. For the first time, astronomers realized they were looking not at a shattered body, but at a coordinated system, and that changed everything. When the James Webb Space Telescope turned its golden mirrors toward Three-Eye Atlas, it expected chaos, dust, ice, and debris drifting randomly in sunlight. What it found instead was a structure too deliberate to dismiss. The main nucleus was roughly 800 meters wide, but around it, Webb detected 10,000 distinct bodies, ranging from the size of mountains to grains of sand, each emitting faint infrared signatures. The swarm shimmered with compounds never seen together before. Cyanide, methane, formamide, complex organics, even amino acid precursors like glycine. And their isotopic fingerprints didn't match any known region of our solar system. It was as though these materials had been forged in an entirely different cosmic environment under alien chemistry. Yet what truly terrified scientists wasn't the chemistry, it was the order. The swarm was moving in layers, families like groups orbiting invisible centers of gravity. Some formed rings, others elongated spirals. Each pattern repeated on different scales, fractal-like mathematical. One astrophysicist whispered what no one wanted to admit. It's behaving like a system, as if it's self-organizing. Every test the scientists ran made less sense than the one before. Simulations showed that if the swarm had truly existed for millions of years, Gravitational tides and interstellar forces should have long since torn it apart. Yet Three-Eye Atlas and its cloud were still moving as one, their formation coherent and precise, as though bound by something more than physics. Some theorized an exotic mechanism, perhaps resonant fragmentation, a gentle breakup triggered not by impact, but by internal frequencies aligned with an external force. Others speculated about something even stranger, that this wasn't fragmentation at all, but an interrupted accretion process. A world that began to form but never finished. A frozen snapshot of creation itself, but a few dared to push further. What if it wasn't natural? What if the swarm was built? An array of probes, each designed to gather and transmit data, dispersing like seeds across the galaxy. Webb's infrared analysis revealed that many fragments were releasing energy in uniform intervals, like faint rhythmic beacons, a pattern repeating every few minutes, a signal hiding in plain sight. When astronomers at the European Southern Observatory combined Webb's infrared data with radar reflections from the Deep Space Network, they discovered something haunting. The swarm's distribution wasn't random. It encoded ratios identical to those found in organic chemistry, the same mathematical, 
symmetries that govern the structure of DNA. Even the distances between clusters of fragments mirrored the spacing between nucleotides in genetic material. To most, it was a coincidence, but to some, it was a message, a language written not in sound or light, but in matter itself. If that's true, then 3i Atlas isn't just a comet. It's a record, a living archive from another star, scattering its contents across space like spores of information. Maybe the fragments aren't wreckage at all, but carriers, each one a messenger from a civilization long gone, or from nature itself, documenting the chemistry of creation. And as they drift closer to the inner solar system, the question grows louder. Is this the beginning of contact, or the aftermath of extinction? Weeks after the first observations, the James Webb team began noticing something that no one could explain. Every few hours, the swarm emitted a faint but structured pulse of infrared radiation, so subtle it was almost indistinguishable from cosmic noise. But when those pulses were plotted over time, they formed a repeating curve, steady, deliberate, precise, the same 147-second interval pattern that once defined 3i Atlas's energy output months earlier. Yet now it wasn't just coming from the main nucleus, it was resonating through the entire swarm. It was as if each fragment were repeating the same beat, echoing a synchronization command from an unseen conductor. Some scientists compared it to how neural networks communicate, individual nodes acting independently, but united through a shared algorithm. The pulse seemed to regulate not energy but motion, subtly correcting trajectories, preventing collisions, maintaining formation. A natural phenomenon should have drifted apart long ago, but this one behaved like a machine, learning to maintain coherence in chaos. And as the pattern strengthened, a terrifying realization began to emerge. Maybe we weren't watching an object adapt to its environment, but an environment adapting to it. Using triangulated data from the Hubble Space Telescope, Gemini South and Webb, a team of astrophysicists constructed a 3D simulation of the swarm's motion. What they found defied every law of orbital dynamics. The 10,000 bodies weren't drifting randomly through space. They were weaving a geometric lattice, a moving architecture shaped like a torus wrapped around a spiral. Each fragment occupied a position that matched precise ratios found in sacred geometry, the Fibonacci sequence, the golden angle and resonance intervals observed in quantum systems. To some it was coincidence born from physics, but to others it was code, a mathematical statement left drifting in the dark. The swarm's internal structure evolved over time, folding and unfolding like a vast mechanical flower, its petals shimmering with frozen dust that reflected sunlight in repeating bursts. When rendered in motion, it looked less like debris and more like a mechanical organism, adapting its symmetry in response to solar radiation. The deeper Webb looked, the clearer it became. The swarm wasn't following 3i Atlas. It was orbiting it, guarding it as if protecting something within. NASA and the European Space Agency decided to focus Webb's full near-infrared array on the heart of 3i Atlas to determine if the swarm's behavior originated from the nucleus itself.